Oh, love. Oh, hey guys, welcome back. We're playing more. Um, what is this? Tales of Berseria. That's what this is called. Okay, let's head on. I want to play as Magi Lou. I feel like this last episode was what so joy to face a clear, refreshing um, morning. Cutscenes. Especially after a long night of meting punishment on my heartless betrayer. <laughs> my poor battered body. You better not kill our key. You're one to talk. Better not eat the boy. He's your precious key now. I know. Oh? You're facing the shepherd and an Empyrean. Old Shepsy's one thing, but Empyreans are, you know, just gods who created the world. Ugh. You think you can win just by smacking it around a bit? That's no Empyrean. It's a phony. Artorius is just using a legend to control the people. Wouldn't a true god be able to do something about the demon blight? <sighs> you don't believe in Enominot? I believe there exists something people call Enominot. But it's just a Moloch that used a special art to bring the other Molochim into our world. You sound confident. I witnessed it three years ago. Well, if it's not actually a god we're against, we just might stand a chance. Of course we do. And ultimately, our target is Artorius. I don't care about anything else. <laughs> this chair keeps sliding Revenge against so Artorius. For her brother. Yeah, the one she named after you. All right, Lafayette. Which way is the Empyrean's throne? Um, it was north of Logris, in the mountains <sighs> of the Danan Highway. If exorcists are keeping up their inspections, they might provide us a chance to steal another Moloch. I sent my men a Sylphje with orders to scout out the inspectors. With their information, we'll be able to plan the attack. Hmm. We can meet up at Port Zexen. That's the plan. So let's do it! Except we have to move our party around. So playing as Mogilu. You Velvet, want you're me going in? as Fine by a me. sub. Let's look at Mogilu's arts. Okay. Up the sleeve, Dryad. Do twin spirits there. Hell rises there. Spirit beads and spirit drops. So Aqua Split. This is not gonna be good at all. Those silk jays are handy little birds, aren't they? Not only will they always find their destination, they can make for emergency rations in a pinch. <laughs> hmm? I hear grilled sylph jay goes rather well with a nice glass of the hard stuff. It's because of the work those birds do for us that we're able to stay <laughs> one step ahead of the Abbey. Those birds are indispensable to us pirates, and we consider them a part of our crew. <laughs> Don't even joke about eating them. <laughs> all right, all right. Still, I wonder how they actually do their thing. I know that carrier pigeons rely on their homing instincts, but sylph jays can locate a person wherever they are, right? They're really smart birds. I read in a book that rather than memorizing locations, they can pick up on people's wavelengths. When you send out a sylph jay, the bird can sense the change in your thoughts and will seek out the recipient you have in mind. I hardly ever see them in the wild. Are they a kind of Moloch or something? No, they're not Moloch. <laughs> they're just an incredibly rare species native to an island in the north. It's a funny story. A chance storm sent us docking at that island, and a mother sylph jay got blown onto our ship, eggs, nest, and all. Sadly, the mother bird died almost immediately. But Benwick stepped in and- Benwick sat on the him. eggs. <laughs> so that's why they're so attached to him. Usually, they're really hard to train as messenger birds, too. That's Benwick for you. He's always had a knack for things that would give other people trouble. Maybe when they hatched, they took one look at his wild hair and mistook him for their mother. You know what? They are comfortable enough with him to use his head for their nest. <laughs> so you might have a point. Now that you mention it, he did ask me not to hit him on the head, because one of the sylph jays just <laughs> laid her eggs. 
Well, if more birds are on the way, we could just eat one to see how it tastes. <laughs> no! Don't You're even ruining think about the it. ship, Rokuro! <laughs> it was worth a try. <sighs> don't ruin the ship. Okay, no, we, we cannot run around as Loppy Set. I don't care. Heading out. I I mm, I don't like Loppy. I don't. Let's let's sell all of these tarnished coins we have. So we have way too many. I could have just sold all of these. That's what they're for. Okay. Let's enhance. Actually, hold on. No. Okay, now we're good. Let's enhance. And then we dismantle everything else. And then we double check our enhancements. That one's gonna be better. Ooh, but we can still do both. as a crater Moloch? That should be no surprise. You've got a lot of power, despite your appearance. You're a greater Moloch too, aren't you, Aizen? So I've been told. But I can't say I care for measures made by folks who tether my kind. I didn't know that's what it was. I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. Just promise me you won't judge your own value from a label given to you by others. I won't. I promise. <laughs> what if that's all that gives me self-worth? <laughs> pirates and demons, pay them no heed. To me, you are the greatest of all. The greatest? Do you really mean it? Oh, Miss Mogulu, you're so kind. You've changed so much since I left. But you haven't changed at all. You are eternally my greatest <laughs> servant. Oh, I don't want to be the greatest then. Oh, this is bad, bad. And our roster of the oblivious grows longer. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is such a fun group. Okay. There is a talker up here. I hear the high priest was injured and will be recuperating somewhere for the near future. The church is saying he was cleaning his villa when something fell off a shelf and hit him. But there's also rumors that thieves snuck into the palace and attacked him. If that's true, who could have done it? He's always been there for the people, and everyone looks up to him. What a terrible rumor. Indeed. I want to believe it's just that, a rumor. But it's got the children all frightened. I'm not scared at all! Liar! Sis saw you crying! I'm the one who's not scared at all! If any bad guys show up, I'll handle them! Ooh, scary. I'm sure bad guys won't come near you. Something fell off a shelf? Nice. They're doing a really good job of covering this up. If it got out that the High Priest was murdered and in the castle of all places, the people would lose faith in the government. Okay. Okay. Sorry, like... <gasps> my phone messed up. Okay. We have a pendant. Oh. Dude, that sucks. We'll deal with that later. Let's head out. 
there is a talking point over here that I want to hit. Hey, I remember you. I'd never forget someone dressed as weird as you guys. <laughs> You're those traveling misfits, the ones who did that dove act in Logris. Mad Lou's Menagerie, right? It's Moggy Lou's Menagerie. Get it right or pay the price. So, you saw us in Logris? That's right. I was there on Port Zexon business. I really looked forward to seeing you perform, but it never happened. But today's my lucky day. How about performing here in Port Zexon tomorrow? I want to see that sullen girl go coo again. It was hilarious. And that magician's dove trick, too. That was all that was shown! Sure, but I'll have you know we don't come cheap. Oh, I've got the money. I'd pay anything to see that again. No. Oh, come on, please. Take a hint. Hey, now, don't be like that. Sorry, friend. Best give it up. Otherwise, my apprentice here might show you a special trick she's been itching to practice. One where she makes you disappear. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds fun. Do it. If you insist. But just a warning. There's no guarantee you'll make it back. Still want to try? <laughs> Wait, seriously? Seriously. And remember, it's Moggy Lou's Menagerie. See you at our next show. Oh, that's so funny. Okay. Let's head on because we haven't done much of anything and we're like a good chunk of the way in. But once again, we're hitting a lot, a lot of... Um... What am I thinking? Cutscenes. Because we technically now have Maggie Lou as a part of the crew. And a lot has happened, so... We're gonna have a lot of reactions. Lord Artorius's speech really struck a chord with me. I'm sure everyone else in town feels the same way. Actually, it would be problematic if they don't. Why would you have a problem with that? One word, lady. Business. The ceremony to move the great Empyrean Enominat is going on now, right? After a speech as moving as that, anyone would want to offer a prayer to the new Empyrean. Which is why I'm selling commemorative chalices. They've just come in from Port Zexon. Oh, Enominat's blessings are many indeed. Are you decorating the chalices with anything? I'm just about to deliver them to the craftsmen to get them engraved. I just hope all this effort doesn't go to waste. Impossible. This is the perfect opportunity. I guess amateurs just don't get it. <laughs> I may not know business, but I know how this story ends. <laughs> He's oh, gonna have the ceremony. All of it. I'll end this by my own hand. <gasps> Okay, now we have plenty of coins to get. Okay, let's keep going. I am honestly just like blindly playing this game because my for some reason my brain does not want to react to anything. I've been feeling really out of it recently. I was much happier when I was drinking sweet, sweet nectar. It suddenly got a lot harder to get. The price shot up twenty times in the black market. I came to the Welcome capital, to Prohibition, to buddy! Find, but no one's got any. Give it up. It's got vermilion ore in it. What? Vermilion ore? I heard that stuff is crazy addictive. Real bad news. It'll be easier to quit now that it's harder to find. Real sailors don't need that crap, right? Yeah, you're right. I don't need nectar. From now on, I'm going to the bar after work. <laughs> hey, buddy, thanks for the tip. I don't need nectar. I'm good with just booze. Yeah, good job, Aizen. Let's teach him. Eh, it's one vice to another. Wrong way. Instead of getting addicted to nectar, let's get addicted to booze. Wonderful. Okay. We're to meet up with the scouts at Port Zexon. Thank you. Now. Before we do that, I am... Okay, actually, we'll do... Oh, God! I don't want to fight you. Let's get this opportunity. You're fighting the Reaper! Okay. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? I ship it. Still ship it. Still ship it. 
Okay. I, I can't play as Magadu. I can't. I don't think she's gonna get much, much screen time. Oh, no. Okay. I don't think she's What's gonna the get matter, much screen Lafayette? time. You look like I you're don't. not feeling well. Doesn't he always? You can stay out of this. You're a demon swordsman. Aizen is a cursed Moloch. Magilu is a bizarre witch. But... What am I? <laughs> Turning existential here. You're Velvet's tool and emergency rations, aren't you? <laughs> That's what Lady Teresa called me too. We're pulling a the Sanji tool. references! But emergency rations. I'm alive. An emergency uh, ration. I get it. You're starting Just like to wonder Chopper. what your place in the world He's is. He's our Tony Tony Chopper. In that case, there's only one answer. Except I like Chopper better. You have to decide it. Huh? It's all up to you. It depends on what you want. I want That's I, what it if means I can, to be alive. You control can the rudder of your Eisen life. Eisen doesn't your have wings, but the this is going to be so mad. My life. My rudder. Doubts are okay, too. They're just further proof you're alive. I'll protect you until you find your answer. Your arts have helped me often enough. All right. Mokuro is just the best really big brother understand. you could ask for. But thank you. Pretty, pretty words and all. But take care who you listen to, kid. Demons and reapers, remember? I hear there's a wicked witch about, too. <laughs> get going or get left behind. Ah! We risk the wrath of the revenging reprobate! For now, let our rudders take us forward! <laughs> oh, she is our zealous! I love it, she is our zealous through and through! Okay, let's head on. Yeah, we're not gonna play as Moggy Lou much. If Aizen doesn't have wings by the end of this, I'm gonna be so pissed. He has wing pockets. Use your wing pockets. I'm gonna be so pissed if he doesn't have wings by the end of this. We're gonna get a favor. Okay, we're not gonna get a favor ball. <laughs> Actually, come on, put up some fight, okay? I still love the fact that our substitute is in the back because it was always. A thing that sucked when you would play because it'd be like oh you, you have to pick and you, you kind of don't want to pick so I, I really do like that okay don't go uh, okay we got top I have yet to have this crash on me for saving so we're saving as often as we can but first, let's go to a shop. Because... I really read that a special MSG. Okay. Sell it. Ooh. Ooh, but that sucks for us. Hmm. Okay, five. It's not even much better. But Okay, let's keep going. I I'm really hoping for a lot of like connections to like 
the old tales. I'm still wanting that. And we're in like episode 20. Not even 20. I think we're like 17-ish. Let's go to our ship. Did the Sylph J reach your men? Yeah. They're scouting the checkpoints. They're not back yet? No. But they won't be long. Let's rest for a bit. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. We'll rest until the scouts are back then. My mic is setting up weird. Okay! We have some talkers. Let's go talk to some people. I don't- well. Are we on the ship? Okay, we cannot get onto the ship. Maybe we have to get the other one first. This feels like it's gonna be a very much shorter Tales game. So that was the one thing I was nervous about playing this, is I was like, go. it's gonna be too Fully long. Fully stocked and ready to sail. Great. We set sail the moment the scouts get back. Stay here and be ready to go at a moment's notice. Aye, aye. There's no telling what'll happen at the Empyrean's throne. <gasps> be ready for the worst. Is there something worse than being around you, first mate? <laughs> Just be ready. Aye, aye, aye. If anything goes wrong, send a Sylph J, and we'll come running. Be ready for the worst, huh? Okay. We got Eisen chat. I keep wanting to call him Eisenwald, and that's not his name. My brain is honestly stuck on My Hero Academia, and that's all I want to talk about right now. I'm like. Okay. We can go. We should be able to go talk to Rokuro! You ass fuck! No way! You managed to get some? Shh! Idiot! Not so loud! Behold, the finest <laughs> drink there is! Ilyanya Red! If Benwick and the others find out we have it, they'll drink the whole thing! Wait, you didn't tell them about it? Of course not! Those guys couldn't care less what they stuffed down their gullets, as long as it gets the job done. The subtle notes of this exquisite libation would be lost on those louts. Well said. Now I believe some Rucarella <laughs> cheese would compliment this Ilyanya nicely. We'll have to hide the bottle until we can get our hands on some. Oh, uh, he's a- Leave that to me. Wow, talk about a blizzard. I thought you were a sake drinker, Rokuro. You're over here drinking fancy ass wines. Like, I'm a normal person, I'm not even like, ugh. I gave the boy an apple, too! Aren't I the kindest girl alive? An apple... Would you like one? This time, I want you to crow like a No, thank you. <laughs> Can you stop yawning and I don't Are know. you really planning to fight Artorius? Well, the boy did ask me so sweetly. But, but you'd have no chance! Are you defying me? Did the old man give you orders? Not at all! Then you're coming with me. If things get too hot, we can run. And if we die, then... That's that! I know! You're a quick one, little Bienfu. Oh, uh, she's but such I a masochist. I struggle as long it. as possible. I need you around for when I'm bored, after all. Ah, oh, that sounds weird. Okay, let's keep heading this way. I assume we talked to the lobby set. Yep. So many cutscenes these past two episodes. Is it good? Oh, I'm yawning so much. It's tart, and yet sweet. No thanks. I wouldn't be able to taste it anyway. Oh.
You sure like the sea? I... I'm afraid of the sea. The waves. Sharks. All this strange fish. You haven't even met Kirishima yet. But, at the same time, it's huge and full of wonder. When I let myself think about what might be over the horizon, it's exciting. My brother, he loved the sea too. Your brother? Named Lafayette. Really? He'd sit on the cape, just staring at it. I told him he'd catch cold in that ocean wind, but he never listened to a word I said. <sighs> Your way of looking at the world is so much like his. Yeah, stupid. I wish. I wish I bought him that compass. Now he's dead. It's not I like wish it. we could have traveled together like he wanted. Compass don't help you search in hell. I'm going to hell. Hey! The scouts are back, everyone! Luffy said, you know you don't have to do this if you don't want but to. But I want to! I don't know what the voice that was. I... I, I can do it. I want I'm to. I'm going with you, Velvet. I I'm guessing lines now. <laughs> Why not? I see. Okay. I think we're almost done with all of these cutscenes. We have. <clears throat> Here's everyone. You say he was using a pendulum? I, sir. And he blasted all the inspectors. I think he'd be a match for even the captain. Thank you. I'll look into this for myself. Hold it. What's going on? The Exorcist inspection team was attacked by a pendulum-wielding Moloch. The same type of weapon was found at the place the captain vanished from. And so you think the attacker is the one who took the captain? I don't know. But this can't be coincidence. Eifried is in the custody of Exorcists. Why would they attack their own? What will you do? One of your keys is running off. I'm going after him. If they're already in disarray, causing more confusion will only benefit us. Pandemonium! My favorite! <laughs> we are nothing more than a group of chaos. Eisen sure picked an inconvenient time to run off, though, didn't he? I can't blame him. He's got his own purpose. But our expedition is back. Let's check it out. Okay. Oh, x -fears! It's We're, we're gonna- we're gonna- x -fears. Let's go get some x -fears! Let's go kill some people! And use our bodies to enhance what we have. Hell the fuck yeah. But we're actually gonna end this episode early because since we're in a new part of Danon Highway, let's check out this turtle. What do you have? Is there anything that is ultimately better than we own? Does it look like it? God damn, all this shit sucks. Okay, but we're gonna end the episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll pick it up in the next video. Bye!